By the way, who you guys want for the Super Bowl? God, I love all of you. You're going to be living anyway. Why not go for something insanely great? You know who sang all the time? My mom. My mom was like, she's still alive, but yeah. Like, anytime you'd ask her a question, if she could sing it, she would sing the answer. It's just a fascinating time right now to be in this business. The thing that I would ask you to think about is what can you do to stand out? Right? What are you doing to be noticed? I use the metaphor all the time. I imagine, I say, your spouse sends you to the grocery store to buy a bag of potato chips, and you, you don't like chips, chips are not your thing, you haven't bought chips in 10 years, which is like a home buyer or home seller. And you show up to the grocery store and you start walking down the aisle, and all you see is bag after bag after bag after bag. Blue, red, green, yellow, spicy, lemon, da 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 da, you know, gluten free, this, that, blue, orange. And it's so confusing which is what's happening with the consumers right now. It's so confusing to select a real estate agent. You need to figure out how are you gonna separate yourself from the competition? What are you going to do? Is there an irresistible offer, promise, guarantee, or claim that you can make an only statement because you look at some of these companies and I don't even wanna give them power. There are a lot of companies out there that their value proposition, their offer to consumers is so strong, it's so irresistible that in some cases, consumers are scratching their head saying, why would you even do all that? But they're going to gain momentum because they've got, they've got capital, they've got you know, media on their side, they've got really smart people running their, their digital and their marketing and their social strategies and campaigns. Like, they're gonna make a dent. And the question is, what are you gonna do? Pardon me, pardon me. Oh, hey, here. what's up, buddy? Sorry, I was like in the restroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm here. Look at that sun, my God. Dude, it was. Don't you remember you're supposed to put the gloves on? I, I'm, dude, I got the hat on, but you know, I'm outside playing pickleball. It's like 80. It's beautiful. <laughs> How are you, buddy? I'm good. How Happy you New Year. Great to see you. Happy oh, New Year. Looking Happy sharp, New Year. man. I, I like this. I like this. Is this the new mafia? In, uh, you know? Chinese mafia. It's all about the vest, though, man. But the gold is ridiculous. You're rocking it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Well, it's like my first time this year, man. I felt like, okay. But I got the jeans on and, like, you know, my American flag socks. I'm like, you're good. Yeah, yeah. By the way, who you guys want for the Super Bowl? God, I love all of you. I didn't even care that that play was wrong. Screw New Orleans, go Rams, right? And I hate Tom Brady, I'm just saying it, all right. I know, I know, I know, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not playing to you. I actually legitimately hate him, right? I mean, he's just too perfect. I wanna just punch him in the face, all right. Put yourself in this metaphorical example. So I don't go to the grocery store, you with me? And let's say I have not had a bag of chips in 15 years. And my wife, God bless her little bobby socks, calls and says, hey, go to the store and get some chips because friends are coming over. And I push the stupid little cart and I get to the aisle and what do I see down that aisle? Man, I see yellow ones, red bags, spicy ones, gluten free. I'm like, what the hell is that, right? It's this unlimited amount of real estate agents that I see. Some are old, some are young, some are new, some are this, some are that, like different colors, different flavors, everything is there, but I don't know chips and I haven't done this in 10 years. How do I choose? How do I choose? Whoever comes first, right? Here's what happens, ready guys? I think I lost my phone, ready? This is the world in advertising and in retail for the last 100 years. Be eye level, with consumers because they're walking down the aisle and whatever they see in this placement, that's what they buy. Do you want to know what the recent stat says? Everything that sells is on the bottom shelf. Do you want to know why? Because this is how we shop now. Isn't that interesting? So now, the reality is, my friends, you're not going to get found unless you do something, dare I say, radically different. 
I'm going to go macro first, then give you micro examples. So I'm going to give you the highest level strategic thinking to get your brain going, oh, wait a minute, I could do, oh, I've seen that on TV. Oh, that company did that. Oh, I just saw that, right? So I'm going to give you that high level. Then we're going to go micro and things that you might want to consider doing and playing with yourself. So you guys ready? Yep. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Not in any other importance, but the very first point. Write down the following. You ready? Make an offer, a promise, a claim, or a guarantee that no one else is or is willing to do. Make an offer, a promise, a guarantee, or a claim that no one else is willing to do or no one else is doing. So just think about that. How do you stand out? Everyone is over here, ready, going like this. I'm likable, I work by referral, I'll give you good service, I've got five star reviews, I've sold houses in your area. It, it, it's a total snooze fest, right? There's nothing that stands out over here. What have we already seen in real estate? So let me give you four, you ready? Jot this in your notes. What have you already seen? If we don't sell it in 90 days, we'll buy your home. Who remembers that campaign? If we don't sell it in 90 days, we'll buy your home. Probably some of you need to bring that one back because it was a super effective claim. And in this marketplace, it actually works because it's going to sell in probably 38 days. I'll get it on TV and no one else can. Before we go live, I'm going to have my team redo the carpet, redo the paint, stage the property, declutter, and make your home show perfect, and I've negotiated 50% off all of the costs. You pay nothing up front, you pay at the end of the escrow. That's a ridiculous claim and offer that a few people are doing right now to counteract open door and the iBuyer market. You with me? Why would you sell your home for 92%? I'll do all these things for you, you pay at the end, leaving it completely hassle-free, and if I have to, I'll put you up in a hotel for a few days so it's easy for you. You know what that's called? Gobbling up market share, gobbling up market share, and securing your place in the market as the alternative to all those big monster players. So those are just examples. So do me a favor, turn to your buddy and say, how are you gonna stand out on the potato chip aisle? What are you, don't do any of these, I'm just giving you ideas. These are things that are historically that have worked in our space. What are you going to do that's different and unique? A promise, a claim, or a guarantee that has you stand out. Brainstorm at your table for a minute. Go.